Okay, for those that are having trouble with getting a signal or having trouble with signal from their quad to their gimbal or their gimbal not receiving a signal to determine whether it's the signal from the quad or the gimbal that it's not receiving we need to determine for a start whether the quad is sending out a signal. So what we're going to do is we're going to test the quad signal and see if we're getting that first. So the first thing we need to do is we need to fire up the quad. So we'll turn on our transmitter and we'll just put the quad down and we'll set that into startup mode. Once it's initialized, <clears throat> there's two things we can do to test our signal. If you have a spare servo, which is a mini servo or any servo that you might have from an aeroplane, we can use this to quickly test that we've got signal coming from the quad. On the servo, we have negative, positive in the center, and on the right hand side, signal. And that's the same as lining up to our quad. So we just need to plug that in. And if we turn our dial on our transmitter, our servo should respond and move and that lets us know that the signal is coming from the quad as you can see here my signal is working from my quad so if you have signal from your quad but your gimbal is still not working then either you've plugged your signal into the wrong connection on your gimbal or your gimbal is malfunctioning. If you do not have a servo to test your signal from your quad, there is one other way you can do it is by using a multimeter. You can use a digital multimeter or you can use an analog multimeter. If you have a digital multimeter or an analog multimeter, set your multimeter to anywhere above 5 volts. On my digital multimeter we have here, I will set it to 20 volts as mine goes from 2 volts to 20 volts. The pins we need to connect to is the center pin. So I'm going to rotate this around a little bit more so as we can see. I hope we can see there. And the pins I'm going to connect to is the center pin, which is our positive 5 volts. And we've got to be very careful that we don't short anything out. So positive 5 volts. And again, we're going to use the negative terminal of our multimeter. And I don't want to put the cover over. I need to show that into the screen. So we'll try and put that somewhere here where we can see as well. So center pin, very carefully touch your center pin. And with our negative pin, if we touch our negative pin, Tell you what, I'll put that there so as you can see that on the video. So, center pin and to the outside pin. And as you can see, we've got 4.8 volts. If we rotate our dial, that voltage should alter. We've now got 4.78 volts. If we rotate it some more, 
We've now got 4.74 volts. We rotate it some more, we should get down to about 4.65 volts. 4.71. Rotate it some more. 4.67 volts. Rotate it some more. 4.65 that's about as low as we'll get we rotate it back the other way and we should start increasing our voltage a wee bit 4.68 volts rotate some more 4.74 volts rotate some more 4.79 rotate some more 4.81 and last time we should be back up to about 4.86 4.81 one more time 4.81 and that shows me that my output signal from my quad is working with a multimeter so if you get those sort of readings or any voltage then you need to look at your gimbal because you have a fault in your gimbal if you don't get any voltage output from your quad on your signal line then you have a problem from your quad and you have no single signal output and we need to look further inside the quad thanks for watching hope you can get your gimbal up and running one way or the other.